What's up, fanboys and fangirls? Luke, you good over there? Mic check. Can I get a <laughs> mic check in the booth, please? A checky checky. Checkity check check check. Check. Applesauce. Um, Easton over in the chat can't wait for us to review The Last of Us Episode 5. Yes. Dude, it was really good. It was really good. <laughs> good call. Yeah. That was Kansas City Part 2, yeah. wasn't it? No. <laughs> Maybe? That yes. sounds right. That sounds like that was. <laughs> Love that show. Um, yeah, so this week, no Last of Us talk uh, that I'm aware of, but we will be chatting here about The Mandalorian episode seven of eight spot the spies the spies plural i spy with my mandalorian eye a much better episode (laughs) (laughs) indeed would agree with that yeah i think that overall this episode like kind of at least it feels like they finally hit their stride i it just kind of sucks that they're it's it felt like normal Mandalorian, honestly. Yeah, but it it just it sucks that it we got it seven episodes into the season. Like, we got one left. We have one left. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, I have my. So I liked it. I thought it was a good yeah. episode. Um, I definitely have my complaints though, and probably yes, probably more so they could be viewed as nitpicks. Let's talk uh, about what we liked first. Okay. Because we, to be fair, we haven't had a lot this season to, to like, like sh- uh, you know, shower <laughs> praise on the show. So what, what can we... Well, it's one of like the four episodes that does anything for the story this season. That's good. Mm, sure, yeah. That's, that's a positive. That is a positive. Um, Moff Gideon being back is welcome. Yeah. At least by me. I'm glad he's back. It's nice to... It... And we all knew he was coming back, right? Yeah. Like, it's... It's telegraphed super hard, Mm -hmm. but for the most part, there's been this uncertainty of, like, why do we care that the characters are doing what they're doing? Right. And who are they going up against? And it's just kind of been this nebulous, well, it's, there's probably... It's Star Wars. You like Star Wars? You're supposed to care. Yeah. And so now it's, now it's like, okay, the bad guy's back. Yeah. Yep. Um, Agreed. Yeah, it was just nice to get a semblance of a story moving forward to something. Um, I felt like the, our characters, too, were also, also felt like they were trying to accomplish something. Where a lot of times in the other episodes, we're standing around waiting. Or moping. For something to happen. Yeah. Um, or just waiting to get to episode seven. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, there was, there was a lot of really cool moments, um, for the most part. Yeah, it was, it was really good to get that again. I, st- I don't think it was even as good as, like, previous good episodes. I still feel like it's kind of weak comparatively, but compared to the rest of the season, it was great. I think that's, I think that's an, an important thing to... Distinction. To, yeah, like, that's an important distinction to make. It's good by the standard of Mandalorian Season 3, <laughs> It's it's it would not be a good episode in previous seasons. It would probably just be fine. It would be bad, but I like seasons one and two. I think are actually pretty solid. Mm-hmm. But man, this mm-hmm. season's just been so rough that it doesn't take much to give you a a good feeling. A little about bit of a buzz. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I um, thought I thought you know this episode features more Mandalorians yep. than almost maybe the pirates had about as many. Not quite. It wouldn't be as many. But yeah. I thought visually, you know, the the episode looked good. Um, there's the, the bit when they're on, like, the ice or glass, the, the skiff ice boat. Yeah, that thing. thing's cool. That thing was awesome. I really enjoyed the cinematography in that section. I like. You know what it was? It was a set. <laughs> it's weird how that works. It's weird how when you have something real, it looks pretty dang good. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I liked the new, you know kind of left behind Mandalorian ragtag guys too. Yeah. Um, I thought they were interesting. Um, Did yeah. anybody else not trust them when they sh- oh, showed up? Oh, 100%. Up for sure. This episode is called The Spies. For sure. 100%. And now I'm like, oh, they seem pretty cool. Yeah. Well, there was like the bit like, we can take you there. And I was like, oh, here we go. Here's mm-hmm. where they turn. <laughs> um, and they never do. I, I was just glad they didn't. So, 
Yeah, mm-hmm. I think that there's that kind of main storyline. You know, it it moves things forward. It helps with the pacing of the of the season. There's still bits in here. The stuff with Carl Weathers and IG eighty eight. No, with IG IG eleven eleven twelve now twelve slash exosuit for Grogu that. It's not. But we we're talking about things we liked. Oh, sorry. I was done. I was, I was done. <laughs> <laughs> My point being that there, there's some good stuff there, but we also, I mean, unless you, you have more th- here really stuff, good stuff things. we liked. And yeah. It's, it's going to be a positive and negative, and they both center on Grogu. Um, his his little droid armor. I mm-hmm. think it's stupid. Yeah. Um, whatever. However, I'm really glad they finally gave him something to do. Um, and it's when they're on the skiff and he stops the little Mando scuffle. Yeah. It's like, great. Interesting. Love it. Anyway, still hate his character. <laughs> would love if you kill him off. Yeah, they left a, a giant sized hole in the middle of that chest. I'm hoping that's, that's designed for <laughs> target. A, a swift, uh, blaster shot to the dome. Stormtroopers ain't hitting that. No, no. It's like, oh, I'm Moth to, might though. I'm, I'm aiming right there. Great. Moth wants him alive for... Cloning, cloning purposes. purposes yeah yeah that's that's a fun little um thing also uh really random not necessarily important thing but when he's talking to everybody in the hollow room and he's like moving around and looking at everybody Krennic? no when when, when moth Moff getting in he's like moving around their... and looking at everybody and i'm like i don't know if that's how that would work but it's kind of funny I don't, I don't. I never know how the holograms are supposed to work. <laughs> but it's funny to watch. Like sometimes, like, if it's... everybody has the same setup, how is this happening? Sometimes right? it's just a head. Sometimes it's a whole body. And they're like moving and looking at each other too. Mm-hmm. And I'm just oh, like, yeah. I'm very confused by this. I don't know what's happening. The, they're using the, the, the nanobots. For, the Force Awakens really screwed me up because it's or no, I think it's the Last Jedi actually. But it's when uh, hold on, Maz, get your phone out, and record this. When Maz like actively turn like for a while it's like it follows her but then like she turned no they show the back side of it and it's like accurate to what would actually be behind her it's like is this thing doing a proper 3d it's scanning i the always room, thought it yeah. was just like the first but no anyways no one knows the yeah the the remnants of the imperial uh in the empire i guess I thought that was cool. I liked the yeah. the Hux cameo, Krennic cameo. Yep, yep. Those were cool. Yeah, getting to see oh, those yeah. characters. Little young Hux. I want to be. I think vampire. technically it's his dad his or something. Yeah. His dad, but <laughs> Empire runs in the family. That's right. That's right. <laughs> There's some some nepotism there <laughs> in the Empire. <laughs> okay. Gonna see Empire? Do we really expect much less? No. Not at all. Not, not, not even, at all. Not even a little bit. But uh, do we talk about things we didn't like? Now yeah. Or? I mean, we might as well. Okay. So the first thing that I think it could probably be viewed more as a nitpick. But like, do we really need to put Gideon in a helmet, a mask? Um. Yes. Why? Well, no, we don't have to. But that was pretty significant in my opinion because of what it looks like. Um. Darth Maul had a sect of Mandalorians under his rule when he rode okay. Mandalore, and they okay. had horns. Okay. There's another character who has those horns on their helmet. It's the armor. Got it. Obvious spies. The, a little obvious The, the now. name of the episode is The Spy. Yeah. So I think that's really the significance of it. Okay. Um, I'll allow it, but I didn't love it, not knowing that. I... I didn't. I didn't love it because of. I just feel like we always have to have a bad guy with a mask on in Star Wars. Yeah, it's just kind of annoying. I. I didn't. I didn't like. It. And they could. They could fix this opinion here in the final episode, right? Um, but I don't know why Gideon would be under Maul, Maul ever for any reason, right? Like, they, like that didn't. That connection didn't make any sense. Why he would have the horns. I, it might not he was under Maul, but maybe the armor was, and that's how she designs it. Yeah, yeah. And like I said, they, they, it, 
they could kind of explain that away yeah. and it would be a, no- a nothing issue. It but. also might just be a visual, like, he's a bad guy. Right. Bad guys have horns. For me, all I can think of it as is, hey, Giancarlo's a little busy, so let's put a helmet on him so we can just get him to do voice acting. Well, what it is is, and I'm like, hey, okay. we don't have to show his face. We don't have to do any wire work with him. It doesn't have to be a CG replace. Like, they could just have that be a CG character and it look fine because he has a mask on. Yeah. I can also appreciate a helmet because it makes sense a little easier. And it's safer. Wear your helmets, kids. Um, <laughs> I, I didn't like something else about Moff Gideon. Ooh. And it was the absolute cringe-worthy speech he gives to the Mandalorians at the end, mm-hmm. where he's talking about how his Beskar armor is better because I'm in it. It's yeah. like, bro, you're 70 years old. If you trip, you're going to break your hip, and it's over. No offense. Um, yeah, that was kind of His lame. dialogue there was so bad. Yeah, not great writing. Um. I, I just I didn't need the monologue the bad guy monologue. I would I think it would have been a good opportunity just to go into hey I'm back and I've captured your boy and I'm gonna kill your new friend. Um, I'm here for yeah, it. I didn't need there was like a five minute dialogue scene there and it's just like let's go we've all got guns let's do something. Yeah. Start shooting. Oh, I'm in the armor. He's got the helmet off. Start blasting. <laughs> then he just bounces. Um, He's just like, no, I'm I'm out of there. Dude, Axe, is, Axe bounced too. I don't know where the heck he went. Dead. Um, But another kind of complaint I have, I, I don't think... I'm, I'm mixed on this. Because I think the Paz Visualist stuff where he's just mini-gunning them all. Yeah. Then he fights a Praetorian. I think that was great. Yeah. I think that was really well done. But I I don't think the gun slinging action has just not been that good mm. all season. Yeah. We've gotten great space battles and star fighter stuff. Um but for the most part it feels very a new hope intro. Yeah. Where we're all in a hallway and we're just it feels like naked gun almost. We're just, <laughs> There's a there's a couple of the, the shots when they've like invaded the base right mm-hmm. and like Mando's leading the way like and it just it does it just it doesn't look great and I think back to season two maybe when they do stuff with like um uh, Burr's character Bill Burr's. Uh, oh yeah yeah like they do some infiltration stuff that looks really really good yeah and it works that was such a good episode but they're on top of the truck it's <laughs> when we get that amazing bill burr scene we're just like yeah and he like blows their whole color oh <laughs> give me more of that um but yeah just the pew pew stuff has been very lackluster mm-hmm. I'd, I'd appreciate a little more time and effort put into that I'm, I will say, coming up to the fu- finale here, I am excited to see whatever fight they do with against the Praetorian Guard. Yes. Praetorian Guards are always a big plus in my book, whenever we get to see them. You know what I also wish? I wish that he wouldn't have destroyed his spear and turned it into chainmail we never see. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. I wouldn't forgot all kind, about that. Wouldn't yeah. that be kind of handy at the moment? I totally forgot Especially about that. Especially since you don't have a lightsaber anymore. Hey. Oh, well. He'll get a new one. Remember when they He's were gonna, like, remember when the they were though. like, we don't have a plan. And this is what happens when you don't have a plan. <laughs> you know what? You're right. But also, he's just, he's going to kill the armorer now. He's going to take the armorer's job. That's what he's going to do. He's going to be the new. He's going to learn the ways of the, the hammer and the forge. That'd be cool, actually. The ways of the forge. I'm down with it. Trust in the four. Look, Luke. they're basically writing him out of his own show. So that's true. Just they give are. him, just give him a thing where they they're he, gonna kill him. He can cameo, <laughs> yes. you know, once a season and be like, "I've forged this." No, I'm, uh, like I think they're gonna kill him. Well, in the finale. I surprised think they so? kill him. Yeah, I think they kill him in the finale and move on. And Grogu goes back to Luke. Like I've got no reason to say. Dude, that just I feel like that kills. Any chance of a season four actually happening? <laughs> I don't know if a season four will happen. That's uh, since they've announced the movie thing to wrap it all up. Nah, but they they were pretty 
direct about it not being like the finale. Like it's kind of the end of this chapter, but not that it's the end of the story. Movie time. I don't know. They could be waiting to see how the movie does, and then I, my guess is you're right. This is the, this is the four for more this is the pilots. end of this is the end of the Mandalorian. Uh, currently, because we have Ahsoka, which is Mandalorian adjacent, and then we have the movie. And that will kind of carry us into, is there a season four or not? That's my... Stay tuned. I I joked about it before the show, but I'm going to bring it up because I actually do think it would be kind of funny to do it, but they could bumblebee him. Uh, He gets shot and he gets like shot in the throat and he can't talk. (laughs) So they can just get rid of Pedro Pascal. You can just (laughs) sign. He, he, does he know, uh, sign the... Signing, um, uh, what's his name? Boba Fett can teach him to sign. Oh, there you like go. Like he learned from the Tuscans. Yeah, this is true. This is true. Other thing I don't like, I this don't like Grogu having a robot mech suit thing. I think it's dumb. <laughs> I had to get that out. No, I think it's dumb. I don't. It looks dumb. It's the yes no button is just another wasted way to inject some comedy for some people, I suppose. Um, I don't know. I just didn't like it. I agree. I think it is dumb. I want... But I usually just... I want a lightsaber. Let's Darth Maul show up and just... <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> Slash him. <laughs> don't care. Somebody show up and kill Grogu. The ghost of Darth Maul show up and kill Grogu. Somebody, please. Dude, that would blow my little mind if a force ghost legit actually killed somebody. <laughs> They've interacted We're with brave. the world. They have. They've caught lightsabers before. They sit on tree trunks. They did force lightning. Why not? Why not? Why just not rip kill? man it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just kill Grogu. Well, we will talk about the finale next week. Um, yeah, I think we're all kind of sadly in the position of like, we're kind of ready for the season to be over so we can talk about something else. Yeah, but... what? Then we can start thinking about what show is next. Yeah. Yeah. Hit us up if you know, of, if there's any shows that are starting that uh, like in the next if they just started or if they're starting in like the next couple weeks we could uh, that we could you know do for TV talk next if if there's any shows out there that you're super hyped about let's know yeah